I'm extremely concerned at current reports suggesting that hundreds of civilians have been killed or injured and thousands may remain trapped by indiscriminate shelling and aerial attacks by government forces in al Qusar. Safe passage must be given to any civilians wishing to leave. Wanton human rights violations are also being committed by anti-government groups. Accounts gathered by our monitoring team suggest that armed groups have apparently used civilians as human shields and that abductions are increasing. <laughs> Appalling violations of the most basic human rights are occurring in Syria and I fear that we in the international community are failing to meet our fundamental obligations to the victims. A humanitarian, political, and social disaster is already upon us, and what looms is truly a nightmare. Humanitarian workers struggle to devise increasingly complex ways to deliver a modicum of assistance. One out of three people in Syria today needs international aid. Yet, the international community seems unable to make a strong commitment to resolving the crisis. I urge states to make every effort to forge an end to this humanitarian disaster, for it sometimes seems that we can do little more than cry out in the darkness and try to count the dead. Once again, I urge the Security Council to refer the Syrian crisis to the International Criminal Court. These war crimes and crimes against humanity cannot be allowed to go unpunished.